This demonstration is going to be for a double crochet shell border. It can be used on any blanket when you have done double crochets. Remember to use the same size hook that you used on your blanket. For this demonstration I'm going to use 8 ply yarn and a 4.5mm crochet hook or a size G. I am just using a sample piece to show you a border. We need to join our border colour into the corner, to one of our corners. Go into the hook, loop your yarn over, pull it up, and then slip stitching to secure. And we're going to chain three and just tugging on the short blue tail make sure it's secured to our corner. We want to work four more double crochets into our corner space. Don't forget our chain three counts as our first double crochet. So we'll have a total of five double crochets in the corner. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to work into our next space with a single crochet. Skipping two spaces, work five double crochets into the next space. Skipping two spaces. I don't, but you do. Skipping two spaces into the next space with a single crochet. And you repeat that along until we get to another corner. So in our corner we need five double crochets. And don't forget this yellow piece is just a sample piece that I've worked up. And I'm using for a couple of demonstrations so it doesn't actually look like a blanket but this is just to demonstrate borders that you can put on your blanket so we have five in our corner and we're going to skip two spaces and single crochet into the next space skipping two spaces five double crochets into the next space. Now you always use the same size hook on the border that you did use for the main part of a blanket. This will keep your tension correct. So that's five. So you want to skip two stitches into the next one with a single crochet. Skipping two stitches five double crochets into the next stitch and you need to repeat this all the way across until you get to your next corner Okay, I'm nearly at the end and just ignore this part and just pretend that, that is our last stitch here. Now, if I skip two spaces, one, two, and do five in the next, I'm not in my corner space. So, if you come to this, what you need to do is you need to fudge it so that it looks like you've done the same all the way across. So what you could do is you need to gain a couple of stitches or make some. You can pull out this part here 
and we need to just move that over so you can <coughs> excuse me you can skip three spaces instead of two so one two three and single crochet into that one one two three that will be a double crochet one two three that will be a single one two three so I still need to make up another stitch so instead of skipping two and going into that one we're going to skip another one and put in that first one make it a little loose if you can putting in our five double crochets one two three four five skipping two doing oops sorry into the stitch oh, it's not being nice into the stitch and a single crochet so this is my last space and I want to do five double crochets into there and then you would skip two spaces and do the single crochet. I won't because that is another example for another demonstration. But you would just do the same as what you did here in your corner. I've done my five double crochets in the corner and then you skip two and single crochet. And just repeat that all the way around until you have your border. Now you can't tell where I've skipped more stitches.